Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is July 20th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm gonna talk about a dipole weather pattern that is enhancing the potential for severe rainfall in the US, east, in the eastern half of the US and related severe weather over the coming week. Now, we did talk about the dipole pattern a bit earlier, and I'm going to dig into the East Coast version now because what is happening is we have a weather system developing along the U.S. East Coast that has the potential to drop considerable amounts of precipitation over the coming couple of days for the U.S. Mid-Atlantic and Northeast even as it revs up and generates a, a bit of a, a coastal storm with blustery winds coming off the Atlantic. Now this pattern is more similar to what we would typically see in the spring or fall and it looks a little bit more like a north nor'easter than it, it does a, a typical summer weather pattern and and this is due to a, a deep digging trough running down through through the east. And I'm going to provide for you just a, a little close up here. It appears that we are, we're having a bit of lag. There we go. And and this is a close up of the the gathering storm in the U.S. East. Now. This storm is just part of a larger weather pattern that is predicted to remain in place over the U.S. East over the coming week. And here we have NOAA's Weather Prediction Center seven-day forecast showing predicted rainfall in the range of three to as high as 10 inches or more in the mid-Atlantic and along the East Coast, particularly in the Southeast Coast, near the South Carolina and North Carolina border here. And, and this is a rather extreme precipitation forecast. And, and so we could see some, some flooding out of the predicted events. And, and it's something that, that you guys should definitely stay tuned to local weather and, and government advisories just to ensure that that you remain alert because these this situation might end up becoming rather intense. Now, looking at some of the, the features related to this weather pattern, um, this is a predicted jet stream for July 22nd, so on Sunday. And here we note a, a ridge pattern in the west associated, associated with extreme heat and a trough pattern in the east associated with predicted extreme precipitation. Now, there are a number of underlying influences that we can highlight that are contributing to, to this dipole weather pattern. And I'm gonna look at sea surface temperature anomalies. Now, recently, we've had a, a considerable amount of melt from Greenland, which is freshening the North Atlantic, but it's also generating a, a rather persistent cool pool in the North Atlantic near Greenland. And, and recently, we've had uh, relatively cool sea surfaces in Baffin Bay and Hudson Bay. And this appears to be contributing to the development of the trough along the U.S. East Coast. Now, other factors involved in, include warm sea surface temperatures directly off the U.S. East Coast, which will aid in evaporation and help to provide more fuel for the storm as it rolls in. Other factors include a persistent warmer than normal sea surface temperature regime over the U.S. West, which is helping to contribute to ridge formation and is potentially, and this dipole between 
warmer than normal and cooler than normal sea surface temperatures from west to east might also be contributing to the dipole that we are seeing over the US. Now, overall, features of human forced climate change involve increased potential for increasingly intense rainfall due to added moisture loading in the Earth's atmosphere and a, an issue that has recently been raised in, a, in some of the scientific research pointing toward a potential influence of Arctic sea ice loss for northern hemisphere weather patterns and increasing dipole anomaly patterns and, and ridges and trough patterns in the jet stream. Now that science is, is not yet settled, but, but these are climate change related features to, that, are, that are to varying degrees described with varying certainty in the science, and I just want to make you aware of them as it relates to the present potential for severe weather in the U.S. East. Thank you for joining me, and I'll look forward to chatting with you soon.